Today we had a really big announcement in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is the reveal of Master Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! Basically what it is, is a fully digital version of the TCG and OCG. Whether they'll be together or separate, most likely separate, having a TCG and an OCG format, that's most likely how it's gonna be. What this is, is basically a Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling simulator for everyone. It's completely free to download. Looking at the presentation of this game, this is the crispiest, cleanest looking Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator I've ever seen. There's so much attention to detail in it and like the little effects, like when the cards go down, it like ripples across all the other cards. You've got an actual field, which looks like it's gonna be customizable. You have like little pet looking things as well. So I guess you can either pick a card from your deck and have it as sort of like a, a deck master. It probably won't do anything. It's just something you can interact with. But the best thing about this is it's available on literally everything. Playstations, Xboxes, PC, Nintendo Switch, literally whatever you want it on, you can get it on because it's all online and it's probably gonna all be connected together. So you can play on and against whoever you want. You can tell that a lot of polish has gone into this, like with the attack animations. For me personally, I really like the chain mechanic where you see all the cards in a literal chain. They have emphasized in the trailer as well that this is not for new players. So you want to be experienced in Yu-Gi-Oh to play this. However, it will teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh in this, which is really cool. Now, of course, when you've got loads of fancy animation, what tends to happen is it slows the pace of the game down. However, they've emphasized the fact that they've tried to make a really good balance of animation quality and everything looking really nice, as well as the flow of actually dueling in a game. So I'm sure you can mess with settings to turn off all the fancy features if you want to and just have it a straight up dueling simulator, but with all the cool little cosmetics in this, I think you're gonna wanna keep a couple of them on. And of course, graphics don't mean that much for a card game simulator, but they've emphasized the fact that because it's on new hardware and everything, you can play the game in 4K. So if you watch the trailer and you have it in full screen, it does actually look quite nice. So. I think it's a nice little touch, 4K Yu-Gi-Oh game, never thought I'd see the day. And they also told us two important things. One is for people like me that like to stream and play games like this for an audience. They're kind of tailor making it so that it's really good for an audience. So new audiences understand what they are watching. And on the other side of the coin there, for people that want to play and be competitive, this is gonna be supported with actual tournaments in game and things like that. And at Yu-Gi-Oh World Championships, there is gonna be an event based around this as well, which I think is really good for the game, and I think a lot of people will be excited by that. Now, despite all of this, there are a lot of things that we don't know. We know that the game is free to play. Allegedly, there's gonna be microtransactions in there, whether that is buying packs, uh, cosmetics, things like that. We don't know just yet, it's a little bit early, so we're gonna have to wait and see. I relate the look of the game a lot like Hearthstone, so I wonder if we're gonna get all of the cards available to us straight away, and then when new cards come out, we get them added for free. Or is it going to be we're going to get all the cards that are currently out right now available in the game and then as new booster packs and stuff come out, they're going to come out live with Master Duels as well. For an example, King's Court recently came out in the real world. So when this comes out in the real world, will this come out simultaneously in game and you can buy it with credit points that you earn in game or with cash, obviously. It'd be foolish to think that they're not gonna monetize it somehow, but how they're gonna monetize it, I wonder. Will it just be cosmetics? Because we know you can customize the sleeves of the in-game cards, and we also see that the field is able to be uh, changed to your side of the field and your opponent, so you can have whatever field you want. So how much of that is up to you. Basically, there's a lot we don't know, and the biggest one that we don't know is the release date. I don't know when this is gonna come out. It's gonna come out in 2021. God, I hope it does. So I'm gonna leave the question to all of you. How do you think they're gonna monetize this game? Do you think we're gonna get all of the cards at release, or do you think we'll get some of them? Do you think we'll have to just buy loads of packs to begin the game? Like, you literally start with a starter deck or something, you have to build your way up. I hope there's like a ranked ladder or something in this. Something like if you've played Duel Links, that kind of Platinum King of Games ladder, but maybe make it just a little bit better. And do you think there'll be a battle pass in this? You pay like £8 or £10 once a month, you've got your battle pass, you can earn loads of cosmetics and things like that, icons, I don't know. Um, yeah, you'll have to tell me. There was loads of other announcements in this Digital Next uh, conference, so I hope Konami does more stuff like this because I thought it was a big success. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Catch you later.